Welcome back to IGN Live. This next group makes me wish I was cosplaying as Chris Hardwick right now. <laughs> is the first family of Fear the Walking Dead. Guys, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Now, you're back from mid-season break on September 10th. Is that right? That's Sounds correct. right. Yeah. That's what I'm being told that checks out. What delightful misadventures do we have to look forward to? More shenanigans with the Clark family. Yes. Um, I think, you know, I think the second half of the season is, is just as powerful as the first half. It's very, it just keeps moving. It's very epic in scale. It's lots of exciting locations and, and uh, you know, we try to take over. Yeah. Well, that's it's definitely bloodier and grittier next half as well, I think. Because we left off and there was a, a truce, but, you know, I'm thinking that, how long can that last? <laughs> Things aren't yeah. going to go great, right? Uh, is that truce tenuous, to say the least? Well, I mean, now you're in charge in a certain it's sense. A, it's it's I a mean, hard one truce, that's for sure. It's very fragile. So, uh, you know, what do you expect? It's the <laughs> yeah. apocalypse. Yeah. It's not going to be easy. <laughs> no. And, you know, Frank, uh, he made a big, you know, uh, Frank Nick made a big move there, to say the least. You know, how much is this weighing on him? He, uh, you know, it was a spur of the moment decision when he came in there and said, I, I sort of got to do this, but is this something that now is sort of eating away at him, or is it just kind of, no, we have to look forward and sort of survive? I don't think it's that, I mean, I, mean, I, don't, I don't think it's that big a, uh, I, I don't really know what, I don't really know. Mm -hmm. Is it written, it written that I, do I get remorseful? Not really. I don't think so. You feel a little I feel, indebted to Troy, to, to, be, that's right, yeah. to be honest. It's, it's, yeah, I uh, think there's like a sort of... Yeah. I feel obligated or something to do with Troy more than to do with Dayton. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh. I think what's been interesting here is that, you know, especially for Madison, is she's trying to protect her family, and they're with this group that they have a lot of reasons not to necessarily really trust in, but they mm -hmm. can kind of use them. Is she constantly sort of keeping everything at arm's length? I mean, it was like she seemed like, you know, she kind of took Troy under her wing, but then it's really she was kind of making sure that she could use him in certain ways. Yeah, Madison's a master manipulator, it turns yeah. out. I mean, I think just her, her background as a high school counselor lets her um, judge behavior and assess behavior pretty quickly, and, and that's what she does with Troy. In the very beginning, she sees you know, what his needs are, where his Achilles heel is. And she gets in there, makes her way in, gets him to trust her. She's warm with him. She's caring with him. She realizes what he's missing and, and what he's fascinated by with our family. And she uses that mm -hmm. to sort of keep herself out of danger with him because he's a very dangerous person, but then also to control him to sort of turn this, his recklessness and danger into, into a commodity that she can use mm -hmm. for the benefit of all. Similarly, for Alicia, it's, she's got this relationship with Jake. Yeah. But you had a really interesting moment, I thought, in the first half of the season where you were kind of asked what your feelings were about him. And it was kind mm -hmm. of like, she said she liked him, but that was sort of secondary to yeah. what the cir circumstances are. I mean, what's nice about this is that it's not a relationship that has any uh, heavy focus. Yeah. I don't think it, the point of this is not for Alicia to try and have a boyfriend or fall in love it's absolutely not that I think a lot of this is her having gone through so many traumatic events and experiences with Travis and then also like you know, having to kill someone at the end of season two yeah. like she's finally at a place a sanctuary of sorts and she's having to try and be normal mm -hmm. and I think it's a lot more about that and trying to find a way for her to to make this life a little bit more easy on herself and, and so tr and trying to be younger and, and have those college sort of experiences and you know relationship that she kind of missed out on so right. trying to fill that void in a way did you not love him then no <laughs> so you're just sleeping with him you're just sleeping with him wow. i'm doing what i need to do to survive <laughs> but i think it's interesting that you do see that kernel of you know, she's her she's her mother's daughter because yeah. in a way she starts to sort of work Jake in the same way. And yeah. what she sees in Jake's potential and she sort of pushes him in that direction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For the good of the That whole. starts so developing you're just doing too it to to get him on side. No. I well, there are some interesting developments that happen I'd say in the second half. But right. I don't think it's she's going in there with an ulterior motive. It's more just like it just happens. It happens. Because <laughs> she's smart like her mother. Hussies, Hussies. <laughs> so, Frank, you had one of my favorite uh, gory moments on this show. I believe it was in the second season, but you had like a battle with a walker. 
and it ended with you pushing your thumbs into the the eyes. When you film a scene like that, is that are you excited? Is that a fun day on set, or is that a oh god, this is gonna be? I a like that stuff. That's usually quite fun when you got to do um, gory stuff. I remember they had like a sheet of iron over the guy's eyes, and then they had like a fake face on him, so the guy all day couldn't see all day, and then yeah, so it was quite fun. Mm -hmm. Is there anything like that? Uh, I know you guys can't get specific, but coming up, are there going to be some uh, moments that people will go, ooh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, there is. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got a full episode of a lot of that stuff. You do? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. looking forward to that. Um, with uh, Walker, the character, uh, you know, obviously Madison had reason to be pretty unhappy with him, given what happened to Travis. Is she just saying, I have to put that aside? I mean, she knows so much more about who he is and what was motivating him at this point, or is there still in the back of her mind what this guy killed Travis? I think that is that is in the back of her mind. I think it's hard for her to let it go, but I think in the end, you know, to save her family is always the, the ultimate priority. Mm -hmm. and, and her family now includes this, this entire ranch, and what she realizes is that they are outnumbered, and he is more powerful. And what is it like for you guys when you come here and you know, there's so much going on, so much, you know, we were just talking like out in the street, there's so much, all these uh, events. Is it fun for you? Do you get any chance to check it out? Um, I mean, it, I, f I find it really, really fun. I keep thinking about the first year we did it and how yes. that was a real overload of... It was more stressful. That was stressful, nerve-wracking. Nerve yeah. I remember our first panel was very, very nerve-wracking. Mm -hmm. But this year, I mean, we're so much more used to it. It's yeah, fun. Yeah, we have fun. You can we're enjoy it finally. Now. Yeah, yeah. It, you can actually relax. But the first year, oh my God. <laughs> and it's her birthday today. It's always oh, her birthday oh, during birthday. Comic Con. That's so. right. Thank That's right. They, they threw a whole convention for you. I yeah. know. <laughs> yep. So nice. Thank you. One more question. Thank you. Uh, you know, I, <laughs> so uh, coming up this season, you know, last season was, uh, the first half of the season, I should say, you know, was really the human versus human uh, conflict. Obviously, walkers play into that the whole time. Uh, you know, will we see as this tenuous truce happens that, of course, they need to keep thinking about those walkers and not each other necessarily, that... That's, that they can't be too involved in the problems with the humans or they might uh, be bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You've got to keep your eye on both parties. Yeah. yeah. And so there's some, uh, you said there's some gory set pieces, but there's there are also some sort of uh, big events to come as oh, far yes. as yeah. the two mm -hmm. groups are concerned. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There are some big moments. You're really pushing for I know. I know. That's, that's your oh, job. Geez. You've got us on live television feed. But you guys are yeah, so true. good at not telling. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you've done this before. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we look uh, forward to these, uh, ooh, okay moments. Yeah. Second half of Oh, yeah, you're going to get some. Fear the Walking Dead. It's back September 10th. Thanks so much for coming by the show. Thanks, Thank guys. Thank you. Thank you. Stay tuned. Much more to come on IGN Live coming up next.